Right, and this comes after a lawsuit was filed accusing GOP Representative Austin Smith of forging 100 signatures. It claims signatures on his petition papers bear striking resemblance to his own handwriting. It also states that two people whose names and signatures were listed in the nominating papers said in affidavits they never signed their names. In a statement posted on X, Smith said the accusations against him seemed ludicrous. He added he's dropping out of the race to focus on his family and avoid costly legal bills to win the lawsuit. Smith has been a vocal critic about election integrity in our state and even personally attacked Maricopa County recorder Stephen Richer, calling his office's signature verification process a joke last year. I condemn those who have made false allegations about that. I suppose the, the notion that some of those people who lied about the elections in Maricopa County over the last four years have lied about other things isn't too Fanciful. Meanwhile, Maricopa County Supervisor Clint Hickman is calling on Smith to resign, saying in part an investigation will reveal the truth. But this episode tells us something about those who have spread falsehoods with such ease since the 2020 election. And with Smith calling off his re-election campaign, the civil lawsuit is now dropped. Meanwhile, the Secretary of State's office is referring the case to the state attorney general. Now, a spokesperson for AG Chris May says they can't comment on a potential criminal investigation. We also reached out to Representative Smith for an interview today, but did not hear back. Reporting in the newsroom, Emma Lockhart for Arizona's Family.